Hi everyone, it's Coach Fred here, and today I'm going to be going over a spicy word problem for an Algebra 1 class. Um, it's a word problem where we're going to write an equation in one variable. Um, so here, we've, here we go. Mark worked four more hours than Brenda and nine less hours than Kathy. Mark earned $7 per hour, Brenda earned $6 per hour, and Kathy earned $9 per hour. So this is a question where you have to really think about how they make their money, how they get an earning. So Mark worked, we've got hours, so we've got our hours, and we've got the, the amount they earn per hour, so their wage. So, you know, it's important for you to understand that their earnings would be the hours times the wage. So for, if Mark worked, let's just say, 10 hours, and he earned $7 an hour, he in total would make $70. So we do have to think about that. The question asks me to find out how much Mark earned if Kathy's earnings were 61 more than the combined earnings of Mark and Brenda. So I know that my equation that I'm going to write is going to be based on earnings. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start with the first sentence. Mark worked four more hours than Brenda and nine less hours than Kathy. Since the question's asking me to find out how much Mark earned, I'm going to write it in terms of Mark. So it doesn't have to be like this, but I'm going to let M equal the hours Mark worked. So everything I do is going to be in terms of Mark. All right, so Brenda, Mark worked four more hours than Brenda. So if I write br the hours Brenda worked, that's going to be M minus four because it was four less hours, really, because Mark worked four more. All right, and then Mark worked nine less hours than Kathy. That would mean that Mark, we'd have to add nine to get the hours Kathy worked because she worked more. Okay, so now I have their hours, so now I need to deal with their wages. All right, so Mark earned $7 per hour, okay? So if I want the earnings, actually, let me do this. I'll make it like a little chart for us. If I want the earnings, I have to multiply his wage of $7 times M. That would give me 7M. All right, for Brenda, she earned $6 per hour. So I have to multiply, oops, sorry about that. I have to multiply six times M minus four. Now I need to put it in parentheses because M minus four is an expression with addition and subtraction. All right, and then Kathy earned $9 per hour. So I have to multiply N times M plus nine. Okay, so now I have everything in terms of earnings, which is what the question's asking. Okay, so now the equation, we, we have to read the equation as, as it's written and write our equations in terms of earnings. So find out how much Mark earned if Kathy's earnings were, so Kathy's earnings were nine times M plus nine, were, so means is, 61 more than, so 61 plus, than the combined earnings of Mark and Brenda. So that would be 7M, combined means add them, combined together, plus six times M minus four. All right, so now we gotta do the algebra. Now we gotta do the math. So we have to distribute or multiply our nine. So 9M plus 81 equals 61 plus 7M plus 6m minus 24. All right, so we're getting there, right? We got some work to do here. All right, so now we've got to combine like terms here and here. So 61 minus 24 is 737. So 37 plus 13m equals 9m plus 81. All right, so now I'm going to isolate my variable. So I'm actually going to bring the 9m to the 13 and bring the 37 to the 81. 
All right, so we're gonna get 4m equals, so I've gotta do 81 minus 37, so that's 44. So m is 11. Okay, so now I go back to the original question. Find out how much Mark earned. Well, m is the hours Mark worked. So Mark worked 11 hours. He earns $7 per hour, which would be $77. And that's how much Mark earned. All right, hopefully that was a helpful video. Have a great day.